like fraction and then rational one and our denominator. This is a complex fraction. Have y'all seen these before? Do you know why it is called a complex fraction? It's got more than one fraction bar. On this one, it actually has three. Your answer only has one fraction bar, like one thing over another thing. You're going to say the numerator times the reciprocal of the denominator. What is the reciprocal of this? Do you notice anything before I multiply across? The B's cancel. So what am I left with? A over X plus Y. Y'all see how these work? Any questions on those? Okay. How many fraction bars do we have? If it helps you to make the middle one bigger, like that, so that you can tell it's a fraction over a fraction, you can do that. Does that make sense? So what would I do with this one? A over A plus B times A plus B over C. Why is it just A over C? This term and this term all cancel out. So you just have A over C. Y'all see how that works? No, they won't always. Do what? Yeah. You, you can't cancel them if it was like A and A. Only if they're like one from the numerator and one from the denominator. But there won't always be something cancel. <laughs> yeah. They could be on different fractions or in the same fraction. Just as long as one's in the numerator and one's in the denominator. Any questions on that one? Okay. So, simplest radical form. Y'all learned how to do the square root of 40, reduce that down, right? However, you cannot have radicals in the denominator. We already know how to reduce it so that we don't have perfect squares in our radical, but you cannot have radicals in your denominator. What's a denominator? Mm -hmm. So you can't have uh, radicals in your denominator. Whenever you have a radical in your denominator, it's called rationalizing the denominator to get it out of the denominator. So this would be an example. We have a radical in our denominator. Any ideas how we could get rid of the radical in our denominator? Nope. No, no, that would change the value of it, right? This isn't an equation. No, that would still change the value of it. You want to multiply it by the square root of 5 over the square root of 5. What is the square root of 5 over the square root of 5? 1. So have we changed the value of it? Does that make sense? So 3 squared to, times square root of 5 is just 3 square root of 5 over what is the square root of 25? So 2 times 
is what? Do we have a radical in our denominator anymore? And that's how you want to leave your answer. Yes. That's what you're going to multiply that over that number. Mm -hmm. So if it was a uh, square root of 10, square root of 10 over square root of 10. How do I get what? This? 3 times square root of 5? 2 times square root of 25? Does that make sense? 2 times 5. Because the square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 25 is 5. 2 times 5. This gives you 10. Does that make sense? And so now you don't have a radical in your answer, and that's how you want to leave it. Sometimes this number and this number will reduce. If so, you do have to reduce them. On this one, 3 tenths doesn't reduce any further. If it had been that, what would you reduce it to? 2 square root of 5 over 5. Does that make sense? So you can never leave a radical in the denominator. So you're going to rationalize it by multiplying it by 1. You're going to write it as the square root of your number over the square root of your number. If you can get the correct answer on this. All right, y'all see what Scott did? It's been recording what what he was writing. It just didn't hear what I said for the last 30 seconds. So does it matter whether you make it six square roots of three or if you keep it as three square roots of 12? Y'all got the same thing, right? It really, I don't know. Some of them it takes longer, some of them doesn't. It really, I don't care which way you do it. It doesn't matter which way you do it. You'll end up with the same answer. So if you want to do it like this sometimes or like what you did earlier, it doesn't matter to me. Yes. Huh? Yep. You have to reduce them. Do what? Does that make Do y'all understand how that works? What? 
the filing cabinets were like in between it and the wall. That's why you didn't notice it. Yeah, but they have a random. Yeah, there's a random hole right there. Anyway, any questions on these? Electricity. It's got a um, 